I always had the feeling that Spencer had it in for my family. Do you know why? I never know why Spencer does anything. But I do know that he never gives up. So please, just be careful. Do you trust me? I always have. Then I need you to do something. Anything. I need you to believe in me. I do. No, I mean really believe in me. I need you to believe that I am stronger than Spencer Truman, I'm smarter than Spencer Truman, and I will win. And you should believe that. Because that's the truth. That was my mistake, Bo. He was just, he was so driven. Well, I know what I've got to do now. And I'm going to take care of myself, I'm going to take care of my family, and I'm going to take care of you. And the problem is that on the day Bo was supposed to have procured these bodies, he took a personal leave day. And he went up to his cabin. No witnesses can place him in Lambview. You want to help Bo? You know I do. Get him out of this? Yeah, right. Buy the book. Ask for his badge. I need you to meet me in my office. I got something for you. Duke is dead. He's gone forever, and now I feel like you are too. Mm. Yes, you are. No. You don't understand something, Todd, and that is that I need you. I don't know, maybe all this has just been too much for you. I don't know. And now I feel like I'm kicking you when you're down, and I don't want to do that. But see, you have a chance to be happy, and you are deliberately choosing not to, and I cannot deal with that. Please. Vicky. Dorian is going to leave, so I'm going to walk to the car, okay? Dorian, thank you again so much for coming tonight, and please think about what I said. David, I know firsthand that being free on bail is not really free at all. You're in a very precarious position. Be careful about how you choose your friends. You'll be back, right? You know it. <laughs> She's right, you know. I need to be very careful. Careful not to buy into Dorian's head games, you mean. David, listen. Who's got your back on this? Who are you going to trust here? I'm your brother. I'm the one in your corner. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about me. As difficult as it is for me to say this, I got to grow up. I shot a man. I killed a good father who had two sons. I lied. I ran. And I am guilty. That's precisely how I plan to plead. about all the bonehead things that I've done lately, but I need your help. Adriana has this, uh... Wh what are you doing? I'm packing. I'm out of a job. Which one of us had the worst week? I went looking for Todd's kid and got arrested for murder. You danced the Lombada with an SUV. Despite your head wound, I think I win. How are you? Well, I'm better now that I'm out of jail. Is this nightmare ever going to end? Actually, Spencer's reign of terror is almost over. 
Well, well, well. Look at what we have here. Spencer, I shot and killed a man. I'm guilty. No amount of help is going to change that. Gotta tell Bo. Better be calling a cab. Todd! When did you get home? Last night. Yeah, you probably missed it out with your boyfriend. Yeah, I moved back in. Some hick from Nowhereville steps up and they take his word over yours. The mayor says that he's going to appoint a temporary commissioner sometime later this week. This doesn't make any sense. What, what, what about a motive? Anybody bother to ask why you would even care about setting up Manning? I'll tell you, boss, the motive really isn't much of an issue because Manning and I do have quite a history. What's important here is that all these charges, they're bogus, and I'm going to beat them. It's just a matter of time. How can they force you out after everything you've done for this town? Wait, is Hughes the one driving this? No. This is my call. Look, after everything that happened with Colson, the last thing that Landview needs is another high-profile uh, scandal going on, all right? I talked to the mayor, and on the phone, I could even hear in his little voice that he was really sweating bullets. He was going to make a move, so I just beat him to the punch, that's all. This is messed up. I know, but that's why it's important that I step back now. Because the longer this takes, the, uh, the harder it's going to be to really focus on finding out who framed Manning. Spencer Truman. Damn him. Balsam, you let the police handle this. I'm not going to sit back and let Truman do this to you. You know what? I thought you had a lot on your plate right now. What, Claudia Reston? She doesn't have uh, enough work for you to do? Okay, I know you're not happy that I'm working for her, but it's a one-time deal. She was going to hire somebody. At least this way, I know what she knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When are you going to learn not to get burned by trying to work both ends, huh? There's no way I'm going to let her hurt your family. Yeah. You know what? I wish I could believe that. Look, it is killing me that I let you down. Okay, and this, you having to step down, it's just not it's, good. It's temporary, that's all. It's just beyond unfair. Not to mention bad news for this whole town. Especially me. I really need your help. So you have something else that I need to know about, right, Balsam? Okay. I know, this is a butterfly, but what is this? Somebody left it for Adriana, right after he attacked her. What are you doing? I'm sorry, darling, I didn't mean to startle you. You scared me. It's just that I, I, I saw you from the window out here alone, looking so forlorn. Is there something wrong? Honey, you're shaking like a leaf. It could be a lot worse next time. I am not taking the chance. What about my mother, Rex, if she found out about this? Hey, we can't handle it on our own anymore. It has gotten way too big. Okay, talk to me. You're right, something is wrong. Is it something to do with Rex? Because I did see his car here last night. Would you always blame Rex? Don't you even care that he's been the one protecting me? Protecting you? For what? Now you really are... You're frightening me. You always do this. This is why I didn't want to tell you, okay? You get hysterical. I am not hysterical. I am very calm, okay? I just want you to tell me what's going on. Someone broke in here last night guy that's been stalking me. I I didn't know you were being released last night. Yeah. Thought I'd come and take my life back. Sleep in my own bed. <sighs> when was the last time I did that? Oh, yeah, that's right. It was right before I was arrested for a murder I didn't commit. 
Miss me? Of course I did. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I felt that as I was lying alone in our bed. Come on, Todd, don't do this, please. Don't do what? Look, you don't understand. Last night, I wasn't... You weren't what? With Spencer? <laughs> What's the matter, cat? I got your tongue? It's a pretty simple question. Were you with Spencer last night, yes or no? Yes. There you see. It's not so difficult, is it? Now get the hell out of my house. Did you hear what I said? Get out now. Come on, Todd, don't be like this. We loved each other once, and I still love you. Well, you still love me, do you? But you continue to sleep with what's-his-name? The guy that tried to get me killed? You can't prove, Spencer, did anything. But yes, I'm... I'm with Spencer now. But it doesn't mean that I've stopped caring about you, Todd. Well, care about me somewhere else. You just make me want to puke, you know that? Get out. Okay. I just have to get some things. No, whatever you need to get, I'll send to you. The kids are over at Dorian's, and they're going to need their clothes for tomorrow. You listen to me now. You are out of your mind if you think I'm going to let Spencer Truman anywhere near my kids. Star and Jack are going to live with me. I'm truly hurt, David. You're also ugly. Next complaint. You know, I really thought we'd gotten through all of this nastiness. You know, I mean, I bailed you out of jail. I offered to help you with this whole Thomas McBain mess. And the first thing you do is run to my ex-wife to try to plot my downfall. I mean, that is very disappointing. I already told you, Spencer, I'm getting out from under. I want my life back. Well, we all want the same things, don't we, David? And if you two had any brain cells to rub together, then you would both keep your mouths shut and let me help. Spencer, I'm entering a plea of guilty. It's over. And I've already told the truth about what I did. You've got no hold over either one of us anymore. Oh, I only have two words for you. Bob Buchanan. David, could you give me a minute alone with your brother? I'll be fine. Hey, Dave, um, you know, in spite of all the bad blood between us, I really don't want to see you spend the next 20 years in jail. I mean, I bailed you out, right? I mean, I really am trying to help if you would only let me. That almost sounded sincere. Well, that doesn't mean I'm going soft. And if you have any sincere feelings for both, you can. And if you <laughs> truly care it, about you me, bastard. I told Bo everything. The creep took off before I had a chance to catch my breath. When were you going to uh, call us in on this, Balsam, after one of you got hurt? Huh? Or worse? I came in now. You're the only one Adriana wants me to talk to about this. Well, I can't do you much good without my badge, can I? So, what do I do? I say you turn that over to John McBain. He's the best cop I know. He'll take care of it for you. Adriana wanted to keep this quiet. Hey, you can trust John, all right? I'll tell you what, you don't try to take this stalker on yourself, though. He's already committed assault, breaking and entering. He's working his way up. You let the police handle it. Hey, look at me. I don't want anything to happen to you, Balsam. You got that? I need to get back to Adriana. All right. They need to get you back on as commissioner before this whole town bites it. And I don't care how good McBain is. You're the best cop I know. And best man. <laughs>